Good day everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make caramel pop and then also how you can serve it in two different ways that will keep the whole family happy. Enjoy. For the first part of caramel pop and wors, you will need a tweetand firk or a fork like this. You can also use a normal fork. You will need some super maize meal. This is a very coarse uh, maize meal. So you'll see it when I start throwing it. You need some boiling water and salt. Obviously a pot, cast iron pot if you have one. So first we need to make sure that the water is boiling. Um, it's just much quicker to put boiling water in the pot than to try and boil it in the cast iron pot. So as you can hear, the water is boiling already. So I'm gonna take that off and then um, you just put about a teaspoon of salt in it. So I usually just throw that about a salt in it. And now we add the... I always put in a third of the pot. So that way it doesn't matter which size pot you use. So if you put water in for a third of the pot, then you will have a nice pot of caramel pop every time. Now we just wait for it to boil again. Okay, now that the water is boiling, this is when our pup starts coming in and we're going to start the 30 minute process of making caramel pup. So what I do is, if you fill the, the pot with a third of water, then you just put in the bry pup in the middle until it makes a big pile of bry pup until there's about a 2 to 3 centimeter water gap on the sides. So you see there, there's a little bit of water. You leave it like in a little heaper like that. And now you put the lid on. You start your 30 minute timer. And then I turn it down because you have to let it boil like this now between three to five minutes. So I usually bring the heat down to about halfway. And now I'll just um, leave it for another three to four minutes until all the water is almost boiled away. And once it's boiled away, that's when we use the fork and then we start making the caramel pup which will then leave for um, the rest of the 30 minutes to finish. All right, so as you can see, it's just been over four minutes now and you can see the water is almost boiled away. So this is now where the process starts of making the caramel pup. So now we want to use the fork and we wanna just start scraping it into the middle on its side like that. And now you're making the caramel side of the caramel pot. So you want to make sure that all the water on the sides is being mixed in to the caramel pot. And from here on in, we're going to drop the heat all the way to one. And then you're going to put the lid on and that's going to steam it for the next 25 minutes. Now, if you think you've started this process too soon and the water hasn't been finished, you can add a little bit of more caramel pup. Um, and if it's really too dry, you can just add a little bit of more water if you want to. So the process is very up to you if your pup doesn't look right. Okay, so there we go. It's completely mixed in now. And I'm going to now close it up. And from here on in, you stir it every five minutes. You just come do exactly what I did now five minutes until we reach 30 minutes then it should be done it will get drier as we move on so there we go there's the caramel pup and as you can see on the timer it's just over five minutes now so we put the lid on so on 10 minutes i will come and stir it again all right it's been just over 10 minutes now so let's quickly give the caramel pup a nice stir while after that, I'm going to start with the smoor. So now let's quickly stir it up a little bit. Just so that you don't have a black crust at the bottom or burnt pup. But if your stove is on the lowest um, heat or number one, if you have an electric stove, then it should not burn if you use this process for 25 minutes to 30 minutes. All right, so there we've stirred it, got it away from the edges, starting to look very nice. And now I'm going to start with the smoor. And then once the smoor starts, I'm also going to braai the vors. 
um, in the next 10 minutes. So there we go. Caramel pop is stirred. And now let's start with the smoor. Okay, so for the smoor, we're going to use tomato and onion mix. We're going to use um, four eight spoons of fruit and chutney, um, just chutney, whatever you call it, some balsamic vinegar, and we're going to put in some brown sugar just for taste. All right, so there we go. We add the tomato and onion mix or tomato smoor. Let's put this one on low heat because we just want to let this brit for about 10 minutes just so it becomes a little bit thicker. Now we add some, I think about four heat spoons of fruit and chutney or chutney. This is just the mild checkers brand. So this one you add to taste. This one makes it a little bit sweeter, gives it a little bit of a kick, I think. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I know my wife like loves chutney. And then I'm gonna add about two of these eight spoons of balsamic vinegar. And then finally, some sugar. I'm using brown sugar because we are healthy. I'm just gonna just gonna add about two teaspoons. If you're a very sweet tooth, then you can add a bit more. All right, and then we're gonna just start stirring this up and letting it put for about. 15 minutes. All right, everybody, it's just been over 30 minutes. I just quickly heated up the milk for preparation of the pop. So let's have a look. As you can see, I've stirred it about three to four times, I think. And um, it does smell very nice. And you can see it's nice, it's fluffy, soft. So everything looks good so now i'm going to show you how to prepare two different ways of eating the krumulpa me and my two boys we prefer the one where you add butter milk sugar and borscht and then my wife prefers the smur um, so yes let me show you how to do that okay so the way i prefer my krumulpa is i use a bowl and then um obviously i Take a nice big bowl of caramel pup, but not too far to the top because you want to leave some space for the vors. So there you can see it's all nice and fluffy and soft. And now the first thing you do is you add some butter. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to add margarine. That's just against the rules. I think there's something in the chemistry when it comes to caramel pup that um, it just doesn't go with margarine. Uh, it prefers butter. Once the butter is in, you let it stand for a little bit. I usually add about two teaspoons of sugar. So first butter, then some sugar, just for taste. Then you stir it up a little bit. So the butter melts. As you can see, I've got some steamed milk here. Uh, I prefer using hot milk just so that it doesn't make the, everything cold, um, the whole meal cold. So there I've got some nice sugar and butter mixed. And then I add some warm milk, not too much, but just until I can see there's milk coming into the bottom. It does absorb a little bit of the milk at the end. And then I add my, my boss into the pot. So as most people enjoy the voice on the side, but in the way I was raised, I was born in Philippolis in the Free State, and there we actually enjoy our caramel pop and vors like this. So every happy has got a little bit of pop, a little bit of milk, and a little bit of vors. So this is exactly how I would eat the caramel pop. And I can tell you now this one's gonna be delicious. If you haven't tried it like this, I would definitely recommend you try it just to 
see what it tastes like. It is a little bit of a, a sweet salt taste. Um, and if you did your pup correct and you buy a good Boerewors, then the texture of the Kermel pup and the Boerewors will almost be similar. All right, so that's how I will eat it. Let me show you how to make it another way. All right, so this is the other way that I think more people prefer Kermel pup is if you just put it in a plate and then you add your s'more to it. I'm not gonna skip too much. I usually make a lot of caramel pup because then we also eat it the next morning. And I'm gonna show you how to, tell you how to prepare it the next day as well. So here's the s'more that we've made. So now if you mix this in, then it does not come over too dry and it does give it some nice flavor. And then the only thing we have to add is a little bit of horse. Then you grab the horse. All right, so there you have it. That is the other one, caramel pop and horse that people enjoy. All right, everybody, thank you for watching this video. Um, that is the two ways to prepare caramel pop. Um, if you want to eat it the next day again, then uh, it'll be a little bit hard and dry. Just put in some bit of water, two eat spoons of water, and then put it on low heat for about 20 minutes and just keep stirring it. It'll make it nice and soft and um, it'll be very enjoyable the next morning again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, now for the, for the final part, the enjoyment of the Kermel Pop. There we go.